And right now it's already been a busy fire season as we've seen and researchers at the National Interagency Fire Center now say that potential will remain high for several months. Fire departments across Southern Colorado already bracing for that long summer season ahead. News 5 Sam Kramer speaking with those firefighters today. Sam, how are they preparing for all this? Yeah, Rob Elizabeth, every fire department I spoke with today say, yeah, they admit the long term services are nice, but they really don't impact how they respond to immediate situations. That said, the fire community still is looking toward a very busy summer coming this way. Now, I spoke with the wildland team at Colorado Springs Fire, and they monitor our conditions every day at Station 4. Their apparatus are always ready to go, gassed up, equipment packed day after day, regardless of the conditions. The department is set up to already have crews strategically placed throughout the city based on risk. And as the danger remains high across the region, firefighters tell me now it's just being ready to respond when that call comes in. It's just making sure that we have the best tools and equipment that we can put on the streets to protect the community and uh, making sure that we're proficient in it, we're trained up, um, and that we have all of our gear every day. And, and when that 911 call comes in, that we're quick out the door and we're quick to mitigate that situation. And with the danger at a high point this early in the year, the Springs Fire Wildland crew is wearing some of its Nomex gear throughout the day to quicken the response time. Now, the department also has the option to add two additional brush brush patrol crews, excuse me, on overtime. However, for that to happen, they need a streak of consecutive red flag warning days just to warrant that response. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs, Sam Kramer, News 5. Sam, thanks.